So, <clears throat> I really wanted to talk about this subject because, for example, if you are uh, European, there have been some elections recently here in June, and uh, there was a whole, uh, there was a big fuss <clears throat> about these elections. You know, you know the the, the stereotypical uh, mottos. You gotta vote for a democracy and pick your leaders and uh, support democracy. And oh boy, oh boy, you gotta be dutiful. You gotta do your civic duty and be responsible. And oh boy, oh boy, go out there and vote. Go out there and vote, you silly, you silly willy. Don't you know that voting is key to a civilized society? And um. <clears throat> Also, I wanted to talk about this and make this video because I have had a few interactions with with people which I would classify as being slightly naive and slightly dumb, you know. For example, one guy, this really fat guy, he was just like, well, you know, you got to vote. You got to go out there and you vo you have to vote. Not because, uh, you know, I care about all of these political parties, but 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 I think you have to vote because otherwise they're going to use your vote in your name and uh, I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. This is what this guy who's older than me told me. And I was looking at this guy and I was like, this guy is fucking stupid. Stupid and naive, right? First of all, he thought that his vote meant something, which is, oh boy, oh boy, right? And another interaction that I had. Listen, I don't know how this happens in your country, but here in, in my country, your average citizen can go to these voting hubs and be part of the staff. You know, the people who hand out the papers and you sign them and then, you know, they help you and they get, get paid. So citizens, civilians can participate as staff in the voting process and they get paid for it. You know, so at work, all, all of my colleagues were like, well, we're going to go and we're going to participate and we're going to get paid. And and they asked me, well, why aren't aren't you going? Why am I not going to participate as a staff member because I'm going to get paid. And and they were like, well, you don't have to vote. Of course, you just have to, you know, hand over the papers and count the votes, blah, 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 and you'll be paid. And I, and I was just like, to me, listen, to me, if you help or participate in this corrupt process in any way, you are partly responsible, okay? Because you have helped. You have aided the machine. You are just a, a cog in the wheel, but you still offered your energy, your time, your abilities. Because you participated and aided the system, you are in part guilty as well. And, for, and, and even more importantly, because you participated in this system process, you have absolutely, absolutely no right to complain at all. You need to shut your mouth and, and walk away like a good doggy because you got paid for it, okay? And listen, for you people who participate in this, uh, in this process of being a staff member in the voting process, um, <clears throat> listen... You are helping the uh, the corrupt politicians to to gain unspeakable amounts of power. Listen, you get paid, but you get paid in peanuts. These clowns who you work under as an underling, as a minion, they win it all. They they win everything. They win the big grand prize. You know, they, they will be in charge of so much money. They will have so much power and authority. The, the, the deals that they will make. So much money. You have absolutely no, so much influence. And you helped in this, right? 
indirectly, but you still participated a little cog in the wheel. That's who you are. You have no right to complain about anything. You need to shut your mouth, take your little money, and walk away. I, on the other hand, I did not vote, and I certainly did not participate in the voting process as a staff member. Because, you see, I have perspective, and I have standards, and I have respect for myself. And that is why, because I stayed at home, and I kept my hands clean, I have the right to, com to complain about all these motherfuckers, okay? You don't have the right to complain at all. And I told my colleagues this, and they were like... Man, you're you're cap and you're talking nonsense. See, NPCs, bro. You can't rationalize with NPCs. You gotta you gotta let them you gotta let them go. <clears throat> okay, so, but this is the actual subject that I wanted to talk about because people don't seem to understand. Now, listen. If you are a person who thinks that voting is important, that that voting is a civic responsibility, whatever, all of that stupid nonsense that you keep vomiting and regurgitating for no reason whatsoever because you're a brainless moron. Listen, in this video, I'm going to explain politics and voting in such a simplistic manner that even a toddler will understand what I'm talking about, okay? And, 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 and it's so scary to imagine that 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 adults adults still don't understand what's really going on here listen folks if you didn't know the the older i get and i look around it seems to me like most people are just naive gullible credulous who believe anything who just hold on to hope and snuff that copium for Instead of facing the music, instead of accepting the truth of what all of this is around us, they will not, they do not have the courage to say it how it is, because it scares them, okay? But here is what I actually want to talk about. Maybe now, after I say all this, maybe you will understand what's really going on here. Okay, so listen, listen. Let me tell you what voting is, okay? This is what voting is. The people in power, they have always been in power and they have always put their people, their minions in power. In all the key positions, I don't care if it's a village, a, a village, a, a province, a little town, or a capital. All of the key positions of, of power in any place they have always been occupied by you know i call it the mafia you can call it whatever it is it is a mafia so let me tell you how this works so you can wrap your head around this right let me tell you how the mafia operates if you didn't know okay so <clears throat> i'm part of the mafia right i'm the big boy and i'm surrounded by all of my friends the other big boys and how do we control everything? Okay, we're gonna... <clears throat> the mayor will be on our payroll. The chief of police will be on our payroll. The, 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 the prefecture, the sub-prefecture, the local council, the, ch the chamber of commerce, the IRS, the judges, the lawyers, everybody. Who do you think put them where they are? You think that they are in those key positions of power because they have competence and skills and they've proven themselves to be responsible. No, they are there because I put them there so that they listen to my orders because I pay them. And if they don't listen, I'm going to make them disappear on some Jimmy Hoffa bullshit. This is how it has always worked. This is the mafia. There is no... In between, there is no question. It is undeniable. That is why nothing ever works. That is why nothing ever progresses. Okay? That is why everything keeps getting more and more expensive. And everything that is built is of lower and lower quality. Everything is falling apart. Every system is falling apart. 
this is why this is it. This is why the this is the reason why it is the way that it is. Okay. And people don't understand this. It's like they're morons. But I'm here to help you. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go back to voting. Me being the mafia. And you see, I have all the power in the world. But 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 here is how sneaky and clever I am. I want to make sure that the rubes, the riffraff, the general public, I want to make sure that they they have this sense of freedom. So they don't rebel. So that they don't get angry. Because a general population that's angry, that's unstoppable. So why not? I, as a mastermind, I want to create a situation where the unwashed masses are asleep and happy and comfortable and tranquil and serene. I want to bamboozle the general public to believe that that they have free will and they have the choice to decide who rules for them. Of course, this is a big lie, of course, uh, if you didn't know. People in general have absolutely no power, no decision power, no decision making power at all. If you believe th this, you're you're a gullible fool. Okay, so here is how voting works. It is how it has always worked since the beginning. You fool. Okay, <clears throat> here is how it happens. We are the mafia. You can call it whatever you want. I call it the mafia, the system. Okay, the cult, the cabal. All of the key positions in the voting process, I don't care what they are. The people who guard the doors. The people who are in charge of the surveillance system. The people who are in charge of all the paper, paper, paper and all of the electronics. The people who supervise the supervisors, the, pe the people who supervise the supervisors, who supervise the supervisors, the people who count the votes, the people who recount the votes, the people who guard the votes, the people who transport the votes, all of this, in all of these key positions of power, I'm going to put my people who work for me, who are under me. They are my minions. They listen to me. Okay? Because I own everything. I'm in charge. Me and my people, we're in charge. Okay? We have all the power in the world. And we own everybody else. Okay? So, uh, your, your average NPC fool will, will ask, well, how can they really just... How can this be a scam? How can they... Uh, manipulate the voting and 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 falsify votes when it, cameras and and inspectors and surveillance and there's so many moving parts so many different people it's because i own all of the people in the key positions you know they're on my payroll dog they're gonna listen to me because i pay them 20 times their salary cuz and in return they do what I say, or they will disappear from this earth. That is how the mafia operates. So, here we, here we are at the final conclusion. So, because all of the people in the key positions are my people, okay, what makes you think that your vote counts? Listen, this is, I'm, sh I'm still so shocked, it hurts my brain to think about this, but people think, people think that if they go into an institution, with with all of these people and it's all so serious it's all so professional and they think that if they write something on a piece of paper and they put the piece of paper in the box they think that they have done something of substance they think that a piece of paper represents something crucial most people believe that this piece of paper that they've written something on, a scribble, a signature on some name, they think that this piece of paper, it, it can be the difference between this politician or that politician, between that mayor and that sub-prefect. Listen, my people are in charge of all of this. You're going to give your piece of paper 
to my people. They're going to take your piece of paper. They're going to, they're going to crumble it. They're going to wipe their ass with it and they're going to throw it in the trash for recycling. This is what voting is, folks. This is what voting has always been. No question whatsoever. And I'm hoping that this video of mine will help awaken at least a couple of people from, from their dumbness, from their naivete. Okay, listen, 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 to prove yet again, here's another example. My people are in charge, right? Of course, we're always going to win. Of course we are. It doesn't matter who the politician is. The politician that you have elected. Okay, that politician is my straw man. He's my marionette. He's my puppet. Okay? All of them. Listen, all of the politicians that you see, they did not get into politics because they're independent people, because they are rightful, righteous people who want to do good. You don't, you do not get accepted into politics if you are a good, righteous person who wants to do good for all people. I mean, how naive can you get? This is not, not even being naive. This is being a fool, but an utter fool. Okay. Listen. So maybe, maybe you're a bit, you have a bit of intelligence. You suspect something. And maybe you see the pattern that all of the bad people win all the time. Doesn't matter who gets elected. All of them are corrupt sons of bitches. Okay. And you think, oh my God, they falsified the votes. They stole the election yet again. And you think, and you think there's justice in this world. You think that you as a, as a citizen, as a civilian in a civilized world and city, in a civilized nation, you think that you have the right and the power and the authority to undergo a process by which to investigate and question the elections that you think have been stolen. Okay, so you, here is what you do. You sue them. You get lawyers, you, you, you address and inquire certain organizations, uh, I don't know, the election committee, blah, 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 you send them some papers, uh, and you think, because you have done this, you know, the people that supervise the people who supervise the people, the committee who watch over the committee, who watch over the committee, uh, who investigate the investigators, you think that this will uh, that this will start some sort of investigative process by which it will be proven that, yes, your suspicions were true, the election was a fraud, the election has been stolen, the votes have been falsified. Yes, indeed, this will never happen. Do you know why this will never happen? Do you know why? If you do these things, why you will fail miserably? Because, of course, I've been telling you this throughout this video is because I own the people who investigate the investigators, who investigate the investigators. I'm not dumb like you. I own everybody. They are on my payroll. Key positions everywhere. See, I'm smart. I'm not like you. Dummy. Right? All of the judges, all of the lawyers, all of the committees or orga orga or organizations and institutions all of the key positions of power. Who do you think owns all of those people, all, all of those seats? It's me and my people, okay? See, this is how the mafia operates. And you need to wake your ass up, buddy, okay? So, <clears throat> it happens on occasion when it is suspected that the the election has been stolen, that votes have been fal falsified, right? So there's going to be a little bit of hubbub, a little bit of hullabaloo, all sorts of investigation, uh, investigative uh, processes will commence. All sorts of committees will 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 ratify and congregate, and we're going to re re recount and re 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 recount all of the votes, and it's going to be 
you know, it's going to be recorded with cameras and there will be police present and there will be special agents. And bro, I own all of those people. They, they did not get the, their jobs by chance. They got their jobs because they are good lackeys, because they do not have morals. And the only God that they know, the only principle is money. And I give them that money tenfold. That is why they listen to me. That is why they are good servants. So this is what's going to happen. When the election will be investigated, my people will say, yeah, everything is fine, bruh. How are you going to prove otherwise? We own all of this, right? How are you, a citizen, going to prove that the investigative commission is a liar? Because this is what the investigate, investigative commission will do. The investi investigative commission, of course, will not recount the votes, buddy. Because the votes have already been thrown in the trash. The investigative committee, which I own, they're going to be like, yeah, we haven't found any problems. They have, they, uh, there have been no issues. There has been no breach of conduct. You know, all of the uh, staff members and all of the esteemed members of the investigative commission, they have been present and they have all agreed. The, the, the election is, uh, is, uh, absolutely correct. They have, there has been no error. There has been no misconduct of any kind, no corruption, no, no bribery, of course. And of course, the usual people have won yet again. Because this is what the people have voted for. How are you going to prove otherwise? Are you going to be allowed access to check all of the votes? Who do you think you are? Okay. First of all, your votes are already recycled. They're used for toilet paper. Doesn't matter. Nobody read them, bruh. You think that I, the mafia, I'm going to, I'm going to waste my time reading your votes? I'm in power, dog. Right? You're going to go to the voting booth. You're going to put your little paper in the box. I'm going to take your vote. I'm going to rip it to shreds and flush it down the toilet. And I'm going to tell you, I won again, bro. It's me. How are you going to prove otherwise, huh? How are you going to prove otherwise? I own everybody. I own the police. I have connections in the military. Uh, the industrial complex, Big Pharma. The, the judiciary system, judges, lawyers, even secret agencies. I got everybody. We're all connected. This is the big hydra. Right? Hydra. Nothing but tentacles. Everybody, you scratch my back, I scratch your back, bruh. And we're going to fool all of these civilians who think that voting matters. Who think that voting is a de democratic uh, privilege, a luxury. It's nothing. Sunny? Dummy? People think that a piece of paper is worth something. It's not even worth wiping my ass with it, bruh. You need to wake up, Sunny, and face reality. You can't be such a uh, simple-minded optimist when, when all of the evidence proves otherwise. It's a contradiction to your, to your simple-minded view of the world. Uh-huh. Who, listen. Since the beginning of time, in every position, be it mayor, you know, uh, general attorney, you know, the, the person who is in charge of the Chamber of Commerce, people who lobby for legislature, you know, the, the, the local, you know, big shot, the local guy who's in charge of fucking industry, these, Positions of power, they have been always occupied by, you know, by people who come from a special group. George Carlin called it the big club, okay? The big club. And you and I are not in the big club. You can call it the Illuminati. You can call it the shadow government. You can call it whatever. I call it the mafia because that's what they are. A bunch of shysters. Okay. Good, honest, God-fearing people with good intentions. They do not get into politics. They do not get elected into 
you know, offices of prominence. It's like, why is that? Because in the mafia, what we need in the mafia, we need corrupt, greedy, vile people whose only principle is, you know, wealth and, and, and gluttony, okay? People who get into politics, they don't have morality or ethics. This is why you and I will, will never gain access. You see, I'm, you know, let's say I'm part of the mafia. I'm not going to let you into my club, buddy boy. Who do you think you are? You're, you're going to get eaten alive by dogs. You don't have what it takes, right? Why would I allow a simple-minded milksop to join my special club who owns and controls everything? What we need is more people like me. We need callous calculating, merciless people who are capable of doing anything to serve the grand scheme. The grand scheme being to keep the general population asleep and happy in their ignorance. This is the mission of the Mafia. And it, it works every four years when the election comes and some jackass who, who has awakened for a coma, start, start jerking off. Democracy, civil duty, vote, vote, vote. Uh, your vote counts. You had a vote. You have a voice. You don't have a voice. Your voice doesn't count. Your vote doesn't count. Your vote is useless, pointless, meaningless. Your vote isn't taken into consideration. Why would it be? Listen, this is the problem that that your average person assumes that his or her vote is taken into consideration by the powers that be. You assume that the powers that be care what you have to say. You assume that the powers that be are concerned with your existence. You assume that you have some sort of influence. You assume that you matter. You assume that the powers that be are shaking in your boots because you're going to vote with somebody else. Oh boy, what are, you, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Dummy? They don't care who you vote with. All of the votes are going to be thrown. They're going to be flushed down the toilet. Let me see you count those votes. Buddy? See? Be, uh, let, let's call it a nice catch-22. You suspect... That, that, that the votes have been falsified, that the election has been stolen. Like, you're not going to be granted access to count those votes. You're not going to be allowed to be present when the investigation, uh, you know, recounts the voice because you're a civilian. You have no business here. You have no business being present when the, when the investigation occurs because you're a citizen, a simple citizen. You have, you have no authority with these people. Who do you think you are? Buddy? Dummy? Right? So if you suspect that the votes have been falsified, how are you going to prove, you know, despite the fact that the votes don't matter by default because the minute you put it in the box, they're going to throw it in the trash. But let's just say, <coughs> let's just say that the votes have been falsified. Like, how, how are you going to prove? How are you going to prove it? Because you'll, you will not be granted access to come anywhere near the votes. <clears throat> Only specialized people with, with experience and, and knowledge and you know, professionals will be allowed to count the votes in a closed setting. And all of these people who count the votes, guess who owns them? It's me. And they're going to say, nothing wrong here. Everything is a-okay. Everything's fine and dandy. That guy won again. Of course, he's just a puppet, but who cares? How are you going to prove it? You're going to get a lawyer? <laughs> So what? You're going to get 10 lawyers. They won't stand a chance in court. Because who do you think sponsors the court and the judges? Who do you think owns them, boy? Who do you think paid for all of those people's luxurious lifestyles? I did. You know why I did that? In return for their service. 
Okay, they answer to me, the mafia. They don't answer to you because you're a civilian with rights and shit. Get out of here, cuz. Get out of here. Who do you think you are, man? <clears throat> Who do you think you are? <laughs> so that's basically it. In conclusion, voting is absolutely pointless. Voting is it's not even a scam, really. Voting is theater okay you need to wrap your head around this i'll say it again voting is theater that has absolutely no implications for the future whatever happens in the voting thing is absolutely irrelevant to what happens next in politics okay it's theater for voting is theater it's a performance for people like you who have um, you know, naive, gullible tendencies. You assume that in a civilized country, you know, a democratic country, you think that, that you have rights, that you have a voice, that your voice will be heard, that, that certain, that certain God-given rights are in, inalienable. Okay. You think that all of this hogwash that, that has been spoon fed to you actually is real, that it matters. It doesn't matter. It's not real. These are fairy tales. Fairy tales to lull the masses to sleep because it is a good night's sleep for the brainless. Okay? Okay? This is what voting is. It, 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 voting is something to keep the, the mindless masses occupied and preoccupied with something so they don't revolt and rebel, you know? Because people think that a piece of paper matters. Oh boy, oh boy. Sure it does. See, see how it matters? To prove it. How are you gonna prove that I did that? You're not, you're not gonna allow, be allowed to check on that. You're not allowed here because you're not part of the club. Oh, 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 and you wanna start something? You see all of these, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed. You wanna start some shit? Uh, I don't know if you've noticed. All of these well-armed, police officers and even some military agents and officers with fully automatic uh, rifles ah, you know guess who paid for their vacations hmm? G guess who paid for their vacations i did the mafia i own them okay and if you're gonna start shit guess what all of these fully automatic rifles are gonna be pointed towards you you know <clears throat> but of course this is too extreme the mafia, if you insist on starting shit and questioning shit and demanding investigations and, 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 and going to the media and the news, you know, you're going to disappear one day because this is how the mafia op operates and nobody will care and nobody will notice because most people are asleep and most people are so dumb that they think that a piece of paper with a name and a signature placed in a box might spell the difference between this president or that president. Can you believe something like this? This is what most people believe, that, 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 that a piece of paper will be taken into account. Listen. Listen, do you honestly think that the people in charge of all of this, the mafia, call it whatever you want, do you think that the, that, that, that the big boys on top, the mafia, you think they have the time or the patience or the energy or the good humor to even look at that piece of paper you signed, dog? <laughs> They're not even going to wipe their ass with it. They're going to say, yeah, I won. Prove it. Prove it otherwise, cuz. Prove it. What are you talking about? The people in charge have already decided who's going to be the next puppet president, puppet mayor, puppet chief of police. You know, they have they have chosen their minions already before the voting even commenced, you fool. See, see, this is what you don't understand. Even before the voting has commenced, all of the people who will inherit the presidency, the mayor's seat, the chief of police, 
you know, the general staff, whatever. Those people have already been selected by the people on top. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Right? It's go. It goes so far as who who's gonna be the next fucking you know headmaster of the of this university because everything is influence. Everything is here to bamboozle the simple-minded masses. So every institution has to be infiltrated by my people, the mafia. To control you and dominate you and scam you out of your money, you simple-minded fool. Yeah, your voting co counts for shit. Cuz, this is how it works. This is how it has always worked. Now, let me, let me tell you another little <sighs> tidbit of information. Okay, so back before things like democracy, we had, you know, royal houses. We had the nobility. So we had a couple of people who had all of the power, right? But the problem was is that these people were so were so terrible, so hideous. Their nature was so corrupt that they were so disgusting, not even human beings. They were just these greedy fucking nasty ass monsters, the the royalty. And they were so vile that even the simple-minded peasants rebelled on a, an occasion, okay? Even the simple-minded masses who were asleep, they looked at the, at the kings and queens and noblemen, and they were like, bro, these guys are nasty as shit. They're just, they're, they're raping us and killing us for fun. We gotta do something. So we had rebellions and revolutions and, you know, and decapitations, whatever. And so the nobility uh, came up with, with a really big idea. Okay, the nobility realized, you know, we have too much, too much attention on ourselves. So what we need to do is we need to put proxies in place. Proxies, uh, straw men, uh, you know, puppets, minions, lackeys, right? And, and this is the brilliant idea that they c came up with. Uh, they, they sold, you know, the lie that 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 mayors have power they they have sold the lie that a president of a nation has power that a vice president has power that 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 this politician in charge of this political party right wing left wing that these people have power no these are proxies see see how brilliant it is see let me tell you how the mafia operates <laughs> if you haven't noticed already right on the mafia I do bad things, I make all the money, I scam you people on the daily. I'm in charge, I'm sorry to tell you this. But I don't want you to catch on to my scam. Because there are a lot of you and few of me. Right? So I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that your attention isn't on me. On this guy, never. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put in front of you distractions and diversions like presidents, vice presidents, um, mayors, um, prefects, sub-prefects, uh, members of the council, uh, chambers of commerce, IRS, political parties, to distract your attention from the real player, the real mastermind. And you're going to focus on those little straw men, on those little diversions for your entire life, because you think that political parties, left wing, right wing, you think that they have some sort of meaning, some sort of influence. No, they are here to distract you, period. And I'm funding both sides, you fool. Okay? Now, your homework is who's in charge of the nobility so that you don't notice who's behind the nobility, because if you didn't know, here's another piece of information. Even the royal houses, those who are left, are nothing but diversions to distract your attention from who is actually ruling this world. Okay? It's not your royal kings and queens. They are here to distract your attention. You're, you're going to look at your life. This is what people do. You're going to look at your life and you're, you're going to see that you have a lame-ass salary. You have a lame-ass job. Everything is so expensive. You, you know, you have 
you haven't bought anything new in such a while. Your life is shit. You're working too hard and you're not making any progress. You don't have any wealth. You don't have any influence. You don't have any connection. You're going to look at your life, your miserable little life, and you're going to want to find somebody to blame. Who is at fault for this situation in my country? Why is it that the salary, the minimum wage is so low? How come nothing is working? How come bureaucracy is so slow, etc., etc.? You're going to look around and you're not, you're not going to find me the mafia. You're going to look at your king or queen. You're going to look at this politician. You're going to look at your mayor. You're going to look at the vice prefect. You're not going to look at me because I'm in the shadows and I'm clowning on your ass 24-7. See, I'm in the shadows, boy. All of these people that you see in power, they answer to me. Because I made them who they are, and they answer to me, and they heed my commands and orders. And all of us, we make the mafia. We comprise the mafia. And our goal is to bamboozle you 24-7. To scam you out of your money, and milk you dry until there's nothing left. This is who we are. This is how the mafia operates. You can call it whatever you want. Okay? So... Dear voters, be it in Europe or anywhere else in the world, this is how voting has always worked. It never mattered. It will never matter. Stop pretending. Because you're a clown. You're a fool. Because even after this, if you still believe in the system, in the process, in the the democratic principle, you are such an utter fool. So credulous, so naive, so gullible. And so ignorant that that you deserve your fate. You deserve your destiny. Because let me tell you a secret. The, The real people who are in charge in the shadows behind closed doors, they look at us, the public, like livestock, like brainless animals who who deserve to be used and abused and then tossed aside. This is the mindset, the ideological principle of the ruling class, you fool. They don't care about you. They don't respect you. You're an ant beneath their feet, you fool. Okay? So, even after this video, if you still believe in voting, if you still believe that you have a right, that you have the power of decision-making, that that that... God-given rights, inalienable, that the, the pol- political system, that democracy, b- 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 you know, regurgitating stupid nonsense. Uh, it, you are incapable of thinking of thinking for yourself. You deserve your fate, and 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 uh, you know, you deserve your fate. You got your just desserts. Period. Okay? Because you're such a fool. Listen, stupidity and dumbness. Stupidity and dumbness, I have found, you know, they are, on one hand, they are genetically inherited. And secondly, of course, the children, the next generation, they also, like, copy and mimic The stupidity and dumbness they see in their parents, in their teachers, in their peers, in older people, in their grandparents. This stupidity and dumbness, stupidity and dumbness, naivete, gullible, credulous, uh, foolhardiness, all of this. The children learn this from their betters, from their superiors, from their elders, okay? It just doesn't happen just like that by accident. Sunny? Dummy? Okay, but that's about it. If you enjoy this content, and if you want to support your boy, I got a few books on Amazon. The link will be down below. Thanks for watching. Think for yourself. See ya.